And right now at 8.07, we have Tori Amos on the line. Tori? Hey, Ty. How you doing? I'm very well, thanks. I'm so glad you called in this morning. Uh, as soon as we mentioned that you were going to be on, the phone lines were jammed. When is she going to be on? When is she going to be there? Da -da 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 -da. Where are you, anyway? I'm in New York City. I just flew in from London late last night. Uh -huh. And um, I'm very excited because they're bringing in some bagels very soon. They're always good in New York. Yeah. And they're fresh and hot. And why am I doing a commercial for bagels? <laughs> This broadcast sponsored by New York Bagel with Morning Guy Ty and Tori Amos. Uh, your first album was huge, Little Earthquakes. It, it, uh, it took some time to get huge, but it eventually became a giant seller. The second one, Under the Pink, same way. The new one will be called Boys for Pele. What is this, uh, a tribute to the soccer player? Um, well, it depends what kind of mood you're in, really. Mm -hmm. She's actually the volcano goddess. She's been around a little longer than he has. Uh-huh. But, um... Yeah, this record's about stealing fire. Stealing fire from the men in my life, which I've done. Um, I can't be ashamed to say. So, uh, it's kind of... It's, it's a passionate little record. How do you feel about your cover of Smells Like Teen Spirit now, that we look back at it, and then Kurt Cobain is gone? How do you look at it now? Um, well, my intentions for doing it were because the song... It, they, it moved me so much, mm -hmm. and, uh... I played it when uh, when he did die. I played it as a tribute with American Pie. You know the um, the part that goes, and in the streets the children scream, the lovers cried and the poets dreamed, but not a word was spoken. The church bells all were broken, and the three men I admire more. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, they took the last train for the day, the music day. Tori Amos at FNX Live. She's in New York City, and she's on with us. Uh, you were a big Nirvana fan for all time, or what? Uh, before, it, before they really broke, um, mm -hmm. that's when I was kind of turned on to the music and I was in Europe at the time so I didn't I didn't feel the search that happened in America and I just remember um, wanting to go to my piano it inspired me to want to go and play I think that's that's when you know that music really touches you when you want to go to your instrument and and kind of dive off a cliff with what you're hearing all right well Tori's here on FNX this morning and she has a new song called caught like Caught a light sneeze, I should say. Boys for Pele, the new album. When is this coming out, anyhow? I think it's coming out um, 21st of January. Wow, this is a nice little sneak preview before Christmas. S sneak, nice. sneak, sneak, sneak. So I don't understand one thing. I'm looking at the lyric sheet and it says, I'm hiding it well, Sister Ernestine. Mm. You were a Methodist. You were brought up Methodist. How do you know about uh, nuns? I know about anything Christian, honey. <laughs> they baptized me for 13 bloody years. They held my head way down, baby. <laughs> You're awesome. Tori Amos this morning on FNX. We thank you for calling. I know you got a million things to do today. Okay, Ty. And a very Merry Christmas to you. And to you. Okay, this is a new song from Tori Amos on 101.7 WFNX and nowhere else. Oakley, Oakley, 812 at HFS. And uh, we are linked to Tori Amos. We're doing a mind meld right now. That sounds dirty. I sense the presence of a friend. Hello, guys. Morning, Tori. How are you? Good, Hello, how are you? Tori. I'm pretty good. Pretty good? Yes. Where are you right now? I'm in New York City. I just flew in from London pretty late last night. So you're pretty jet-lagged. Yeah, but I've got all these bagels coming. I'm very excited. I've got blueberry, I've got poppy seed, I've got onion bagel, I just and all this cream cheese and what, butter. No salmon? No salmon, honey. I want it hot and sweet. Jam. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I'm not interested in this dieting scene. It's forget it. Chicks, the more to love. That's all. I'm having butter. Uh -huh. You're having the more to love. Hey, I bu agree. Oh, butter's the kiss of death. Mm. That'll clog your heart up. Mm. <laughs> but I'm going yeah. smiling, baby. I'm going smiling. So, Tori. Yes. Boys for Pele. Yes. Not a soccer player reference. Um, if you'd like it to be, I'm sure there are those who would like it to be, which is just fine. The Brazilian market. Hmm. Well, what is the meaning, then? Or do you have one? Pele is uh, the volcano goddess, and she's been around a little longer than he has, I think. 
<clears throat> yeah. You're becoming English on us. No. Yes, you are. No. So, well, you can't tell from your perspective because you are you. <laughs> you're seeing the world through you-colored glasses. No, you However, you. I have a distinct uh, British uh, influence on your voice there. Well, you have spent quite a while in the, in the aisles. Yes. I've spent a bit of time. You know, I've been... I've been flirting with a few Brits. It kind of rubs off on you, you know. But the thing is, um, let's talk about... Can I say hi to my friends? You can yeah. do whatever you want. Totally. I want to say hi to Connie because I haven't talked to her in six months. Hi, Connie. I'm sorry I didn't call. Howdy, Connie. And I want to say hi to my um, nieces and nephews because they've been sick all week. Oh. Really, really sick. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Wow. So last time we talked, um, you said that this new CD is a little bit darker than, um, you know, darker than the last one. Is it? Um, this whole record is really about how I stole fire from the men in my life. It took me a while to uh, be able to admit that. But um, it's about stealing passion, not being able to find your own. Mm. And each song became a fragment, another piece for me to uh, find that. Was it hard to write? Um, well, I got my vampire's license <laughs> as I wrote this. Just because I think um, when you start seeing, you know, the hooks that you throw in to the people that you, you say you love. Mm. Right. And uh, it got pretty volatile at certain points, and I think the whole reference to Pele is the boys, the men that brought me to my fire what they gave me or what they didn't give me in many cases in truth um, forced me to have to find my own and that's what it's about so when you're and a lot of people do this too when they write writing is almost like therapy where you're reaching down in there and you're expressing it um, which originally starts out as some form of healing yourself but then when you have to go recreate that on stage and give night after night you know does it ever turn on you and become something that is destructive? Um, we'll see. I, I don't know what this tour is going to be like as far as how it's going to affect me, just because um, this record is so personal. It's about intimate experiences. And um, I, I don't know if I'll be reliving them as I play it or not. I don't really know that. But I do know that, for me, this record is partly my shadow. It's the descent, the descent of woman trying to remember those fragments, those sides to us. You know, Mary Magdalene was not one of our um, blueprints that we could follow. And I really went back to that bloodline, to the idea that she was the sacred bride of Jesus. I went back to the idea that this woman, we're not talking about virgins here, we're talking about becoming a woman, honoring woman, the passion, the compassion, and the power, and the wisdom of that. Now, Tori, how does Edison feel about that? Well, we'll see, won't we? Maybe so. Your, your dad. Are there any tracks that are so personal that you'd like us not to play them? <laughs> if I wouldn't have put them on the record okay. if, if I didn't want to share them. There's a lot, a lot of tracks here, 14 uh, songs. 14 songs with four intros and outros. Right. So. After reading the lyrics, I really liked Horses. Mm. I thought that is a great song. Did you ride growing up? Did I what? Did ride. You ride? I got thrown. No. <laughs> Just, Metaphorically or actually? Well, you know, this record is pretty much a metaphor, so it's it's um, written in novel form uh, from beginning to end. It's a story. Mm. It's a story of this descent of of woman. Now, Tori, you, you, you talk about um, gaining passion from others, which I think to a certain extent is something everybody does. Um, in the first single, Caught a Light Sneeze, there is a, uh, well, there's a pretty obvious Trent reference. Well, a lot of people show up on this record. They come in, they come out. Mm -hmm. And we wave hello and we wave goodbye. Okay. All right. You know, here's a question that I, I wanted to ask you last time we spoke and I didn't do it. When I saw you, um, and you had played in Washington, and your father was in the audience, and you started talking about your childhood, and I found I was squirming. I'm going, oh, no, Dad's in the audience. You can't say that. How does he react when you get, like, extra personal when you're talking about, you know, the Robert Plant stuff? If you know what I mean, and I think you do. That doesn't affect him 
in truth. I think the things that um, we have little chats about um, is I have a real different view on how Christian mythology has affected and controlled the way of thinking um, of humanity. And so when I talk about Father Lucifer on the record, when I go after those ones, Muhammad, my friend, um, when I go after professional widow and talk about the control of the patriarchy, that's when he and I kind of uh, agree to disagree, but, but we honor that. Does he, does he get out to a lot of these shows, or is it just every once in a while? Oh, you know he comes out. Oh, I've, I've seen him everywhere from, you know, here, here in town to uh, up in New York. I saw him at one of your shows. Well, he has to be there. He's my publisher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you still have a, your, a lot of irons in the uh, fire. Still a founding member of uh, RAIN. Well, you always will be. Yeah. The Rape, uh, Abuse, and Incest National uh, Network. Yeah. That number, 1-800-656-HOPE, if you want to take yes. that down. 656-HOPE. Well, Tori. Yes, guys. Uh, when can we look forward to seeing you in the area here again? Um, I think I'm going to be coming through touring April mm -hmm. and May. You know, that's going to rekindle the fixation that all the males at the station have on you. They've, they've got posters all over their offices, they, uh, which is normal, you know, for a radio station, but there are a lot of pictures of you around here. Yeah, well, where were they when I was 13? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Uh, really well this you know we had the Cheryl Teague's poster up there <laughs> they have Cheryl Teague's posters but now these guys have the Tory Shrine where they make offerings yeah yeah so. you just make a call here if you need a date or something because you're not gonna have any trouble they've got, <laughs> yeah. they've got little body pillows that they've stitched in your uh, silhouette right. well don't tell her that who knows what else they've got at home <laughs> just you know with some of the pictures on the new record when it's coming out because again it's an it's like a novel the the, the music as well as the booklet um, Little Earthquakes was more diary form, Pink was more like an Impressionist painting, and this is like a story. And uh, so some of the pictures just have a sense of humor, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. well, 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 forewarned is forearmed. Yep. <laughs> and uh, the new album, Boys for Pele, will be in stores January 23rd? Is that yes, right? Yes, that's what I'm being told. Okay. All right, right on. Tori Amos. Well, I think we should hear new music. How about Cotta Light Sneeze? Do you want to introduce it, Tori? Um, gazoo night. <laughs> Anything? Any insight on this? <clears throat> I'm, I'm keeping mum's the word, babe. Leave it open to interpretation? Absolutely. Okay. okay. That's what we love about you. Mm -hmm. You spelled light wrong. There must be some insight to that. Honey, it means no fat, no butter. Okay. Light. Hey, but you're about to have some butter right now. Yes. You maybe you ought to try apple butter. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Entirely up to you. Just to, just to get the health side in, eh? Yeah. yeah. Well, Tori, thanks very much for uh, joining us this morning, and we'll look forward to uh, seeing you when you're when you're in our neighborhood. Okay, guys, thanks. thanks. Yes, come to our brand new studios. Okay. All, All right, right. Bye. 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 Hey. Hi, Hi, how are you? We're great. Oh, I'm incredibly excited, is how I am. Yeah. Dolly's been waiting to talk to you all morning. Oh, boy, Stoli. Hi, Tori. <laughs> how are you? Are you like, are you like Stoli and Coke? I mean, are uh, you? Yeah, Stoli and Lemonade more. I'm, I'm, you know, a little more citrus than that. Fair enough. <laughs> he, he's kind of a stalker, Tori. So yeah. You know, oh, fair. is he? Yeah, you've thrown me, you know, very few people throw me for a loss. You and Quincy Jones. I have nothing to say. I don't know what to say. He's just gonna, he's just gonna babble a little bit. Can you deal with that? Oh please, I'm babble! On, I'm on the radio and I'm gushing. Well, <laughs> gush away, Stoli. <laughs> Squeeze Tori, yourself. You Tori, little earthquake. Oh, the most amazing record. Oh, okay. And then under the pink. Okay, I just can't pass the mission. I can't talk. It's Tori Lance. Do the interview. I can't talk. <laughs> Hi, Tori. It's Lance. Hi, Lance. I, I can handle this. Don't worry. I'm, I, I've got, I've got myself. I'm my pulling feet are myself together. I'm, I'm pulling myself. Tell us together. something about the new record now. There's going to be a new single that we're going to get on Friday, but of course you know. Oh, you don't have it yet. No, no it's, it's not till. Right. Actually, it's not till the 22nd. Yeah, Friday that's Friday the 22nd is the radio airplay date. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, you know, Sorry, Tori. Okay, well. It's called Boys for uh, Pele. Boys oh, no, the, for the Pele. The single that the we're going to get is caught a little sneeze. Yeah, caught a light sneeze. Caught a light sneeze. Yes. Caught a light sneeze. That's kind of an interesting name for a song. 
Yes, especially if, <laughs> especially if he was a light sneeze and not the flu, if you know what I mean, oh. girls. <clears throat> oh. So you're looking for the flu? Well... Maybe? A little something that'll knock you down? <laughs> guys would like to think they're the flu, wouldn't they? But sometimes they're just a hachu. I'm a pretty... I'm a That's pr so true. But I'm a pretty... Come on, now. I'm a pretty rough cold, <laughs> I think. He's yeah. more of a hay fever. He's to be mm. throat. Yeah, I'm like, that. he never goes <laughs> This guy never goes away. He's more like strep or mom or something, really. <laughs> like, like herpes? You never get rid of me? <laughs> it's like luggage, yeah. 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 See, that happens. But now, now you did this whole new record. You produced it all by yourself. In a it, church. Yes, I did in a church in Ireland. Well, well that's amazing. That is, you know, that describe, cool. like, the differences between doing this and doing working with producers, like, on the other stuff. Well, this record... There's no censorship as far as um, jumping off cliffs musically, lyrically, and arrangement-wise. Um, I pulled in the harpsichord for this record. I, the whole record was written because, um, well, basically, my, my relationships were falling apart with men, whether they were friends, mentors, or the love at, at the time in my life. And so Boys for Pele is really the boys that have brought me to my fire, whether they have um, withheld or whether they've given, it forced me to have to stop trying stealing whatever I thought they had that I thought I didn't have. Doesn't have anything to do with the soccer player, does it? Well, it depends who you want to steal from, doesn't it, Lance? Okay. okay. But uh, Pele is the volcano goddess, right. Hawaii. The Hawaiian fire goddess? Yes. And um, I went back to the church. I decided if I was going to talk about claiming my passion, I'd go to the place where they taught you how to uh, cut it out of you. Really? So Maybe that's what I did. Really? Wow. So you have no passion anymore? No, I'm f I've, I've begun to find it with, within my own being. Well, Ian, you have to recharge, too, after such an outpouring as making a record. You kind of drain yourself to make it. Is that not true? On some levels, but with this particular work, each song became a fragment of sides of myself. I think... Um, I think the men will understand me, because they did inspire this work, but I think the women will really hear me. No matter how strong you feel, sometimes you find yourself crawling on your knees, because that phone is not ringing. Yeah. And you know that it's slipping through your fingers. And you know that you're just not going to be able to get through that wall. Well, you know, I always feel as though, as a male, I've probably... I, I felt as though, maybe I flatter myself, but I felt as though I kind of got what you were doing just as much as, like, you know, the female listeners. I like to think so. Well, I really, I really hope... a girly man. I hope that the, um, that the men are open to this. Some of the British men have just come, come off of all the British press. And um, some of them come in uh, asking me why I'm so aggressive and why I hate them. And, and what they don't understand with this record is it's about incredible passion and incredible desire and Im incredible need and then love well, and uh so of all of it. yeah it it it's it's all got to be in there if you're being fair about it but um it's a it's a fiery little record and i i just ask the guys to be open to it because sometimes i don't think that they know what happens when they hang up that phone and just go you know now is not a good time well, Tori, I have a question to ask you. With this album that you put together, do you feel that a lot of men feel that um, maybe they misinterpret your aggressiveness for hate? Sometimes I think so. Um, a lot of times I'm just so angry that I would let myself crawl. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I don't think that guys really know how much women look to them, look to them to reflect um, being enough back as a woman from their eyes. I'm not talking about as a creative force, or, mm -hmm. right. but I'm talking about, um, well, for me anyway, I would look to the men in my life to just feel like I was woman enough. Uh. That was a side of me that I really didn't feel confident. But, but yet that's, that almost seems as though that's, in any relationship, almost the responsibility of both people to, to make them see those sides That's of why it's a relationship, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think you're analytical when you're, um, you've got your vampire's license and you need to feed and his neck is there and you're like, I need what you have. Hey, hey I got a, wow. a, a, a quick question for you, Tari. One of the tracks on your record is called Father Lucifer. Yeah. 
uh, is that like a devil song? Well, <laughs> I ha in truth, I had to go have a cup of tea with Lucifer so that I could descend and he showed me how to dance the tango. Oh, All right. Talk to him on the phone. Stoli talks, to, talks he, to Lucifer on the phone. Fair enough, Stoli. He's got a mobile. Because oh, <laughs> I don't have time to go. Have. He never clears his schedule. Yeah, yeah, well, he, yeah, it's Tori, though. Yeah. Well, guys, they're, they're kind of screaming at me from the other room, telling me I have to go on to the all next right, interview. Right. We understand. Well, You're thank busy. thank you, Tori. Tori, you yes. probably talked way over the heads of our listeners, but it was a pleasure to talk to you. I don't think I did at all. Oh, you, you, you're, you're overestimating our mm, I don't, I don't think Chicago, so. You know? Thank you, Tori. <laughs> okay, guys. It was a pleasure. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Clear skies right now, 19 degrees. Our very special guest this morning, Tori, can you hear me? Is this Charles? Charles, Charles Lockwoodera, show we call The Big Mattress here in Boston, Tori. How are you doing? I'm very I'm well. The, my show's called The Big Mattress because, you know, it's sort of thing where you think of, like, all these people waking up, different segments of uh, Massachusetts and New England waking up and saying good morning to each other from different towns and stuff. You know, kind of corny and cheesy, but I like it. I'm stuck with it for the next 20 years. And a Gram Grammy nomination and two platinum albums under your belt already. The buzz on your forthcoming album. Now, see if I pronounce this right, Tori. Boys for Pele? Like Boys for Pele, yes. Great. We, we were hearing about that. So we're talking about Tori Amos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Tori, to WBCN. Lance Norris is uh, with us this morning. He's my cohort here. Say hi to Tori Lance. Good morning. Hi. Hi, Lance. Fabulous morning voice. Yes, she does, doesn't she? Well, I've been up all night. I've just flew in from London, so I'm a little groggy, but I'm waking up. Uh-huh. Now, what does the album title Boys for Pele mean? Well, Pele's a volcano goddess in Hawaii. And, oh, um... Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Well, you know. We were thinking of soccer, soccer player. Well, you can think of that. I mean, it is, a it is applicable. Which island is uh, Pele on? Um, um... Well, it's with Mount Kilauea. It's the big island, if I'm correct blowing up and it's all black lava <laughs> well at the time I was lighting my fingers on fire I wasn't I wasn't a very good pyro but all my relationships were falling apart at the time and uh, this is this records about me finding my passion instead of um, stealing it from the men in my life get concerned that you might run out of personal turmoil to sing about well the, uh, I'll go into animation then <laughs> Uh, I understand the uh, the first single from the album, Caught a Little Sneeze, is available on the internet. Can I give everybody that address for you? Yeah, Caught a Light Sneeze, like lightweight. <laughs> like instead of the flu. What did I say? What did I say? Little. Oh, okay. But light, light's a diff, you know, it's, it's marge, yeah, margarine, not butter, babe. <laughs> Caught a light sneeze. HTT, can I give this address? Yes. HTTP, correct me if I'm wrong, HTTP colon slash slash www.atlantic-records.com. Yeah. How's that sound? Tori? Yes. Was I right? Did I, did I get it? Do you surf the net? I, I don't surf the net. <laughs> I, I'm not, that isn't my world, the uh, computer world. I, I don't really know much about it. All my crew has have their little Macs and their dirty little socks, and they sit and drink Guinness and with their dirty little socks and play on their Macs, and I, it's very cute. And they take care, and they say, Tori, this guy asked this, and Tori, this woman wants to know, and they just give you all the, uh, the email information? No, actually, they don't, um, they don't read the pages that, that are related to my work at all. They're busy dealing with Schumacher and the Formula One guys. They... They're all wannabe racers. <laughs> no way, really? Yeah, I'm really into Formula One myself. I've put out um, a message to Schumacher that I would like to just take a spin around the track once. I'd really like to do that. Tommy, so Lance, you know who, who Schumacher is? Which one is he? Who's Schumacher? I, I'm He's the one that wins, wins all the races, guys. Where? He's the German. He's the German racer, Schumacher. Yeah. All that? All those... those Formula One. Formula One. Formula the, one. This yeah. woman is totally like into yeah. this into this stuff. Uh, okay, so sorry, cool. I have to bring in I have to bring in another person here, another support person. I have to bring in a person who's an expert on sports. Oh, fair enough. Hey, hey good hey, morning. Say, say hi to Tori Amos. Hi, Tori Amos. How are you? Is this Tank? Yes, the big round guy. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? You know Formula One, yeah, Tank? 
Absolutely. Schumacher is the king. I mean, two years ago, he won, I think, all but one race. and uh, No, all but two races. But one of the races, uh, he won it, but he was disqualified. This guy is the driving leg. Tori, Tori wants to drive it in one of those races. She was just saying. Oh, I don't blame him. No, I thousand dollar car yeah i just want to take it around the lap once i'm what i've offered him is he can play my boozy which is nine feet and it uh, you know in its own way it's like one of those race cars these boozies are really kind of made by hand and you know they're Here's serious my musical ignorance but what what's a boozy it's a busendorfer piano oh a type of piano <laughs> yes just got off a plane. Let me tell you something. We're supposed to be spinning you around in circles, and you're taking us around in circles. Well, uh, these expressions. I'm going. God, why don't I know this? I should know this. I'm the disc jockey here. And we love the records and stuff, and she's talking about all this. Are you a fan of Winston Cup uh, drivers as well? I'm not familiar with that as much. Well, Jeff Gordon is, is the hot name in, in Winston Cup. Be because I've been living in Europe now, and I recorded all the record over there. Um, I was only aware of what was on telly there. So the Formula One was, I took breaks. In, in between the take, if Formula One was on, we stopped, babe. We went and watched. Yeah, she was watching Sky Sports TV. <laughs> yeah. <in laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Sorry, I have, to, I have to ask you to do me a favor. I know that uh, you, you're speaking to other stations uh, uh, across the country this morning. You make me feel like I'm cheating on you. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I can deal. I can deal. Mm. As long as you remember WBC. She's now, used to open relationships. <laughs> yeah, my family, I started to tell you, sorry, my family's in Hawaii, and that's where they've been for the last three years, and I'm going to go uh, meet up with them this Christmas. Right. They li we live there. So. Oh, anyway, wonderful. Not on that big island where uh, where Pele is, because uh, th that island there is, uh, is pretty new, and it's blowing up all the time. I mean, that volcano is to totally active. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, but, but one of the... Um, one of the, th the things I wanted to ask you about is, uh, uh, would you, would you, uh, could you set up with, with your people to give us, to give us this record first, um, your new album? You know, you can't talk to me about that, because I don't get involved in that side of things. Huh? Okay, well, you I, know, I, I don't know that how that whole side of things works. Yeah, but you know something? Hmm. Hmm. Here I am, a disc jockey, hmm. and hmm. if I, even though I don't know much about how the music industry works. If I, if one of somebody called up and said, "Charles, can you get me the new Smashing Pumpkins album or something?" I bet I could get it for him. I oh mean, right. I don't want to. I don't want to like you know really like put pressure on you or anything. Charles, like, yeah. are you blackmailing me, babe? <laughs> <laughs> don't try it. I've got a boozy and I'm going to be in a Formula One soon. I think I can handle this. But so, have you been given the single? What have you been given? We have nothing. We have absolutely nothing. Okay, so just okay. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Caught a light sneers, caught a light breeze, caught a light weight, lightning seed. Boys on my left side, boys on my right side, boys in the middle, and you're not here. I need a big loan from the girl's own. Building, tumbling down. Didn't know our love was so small. Couldn't stand it out, Mr. St. John. Just bring your son. That's the first part. Wow, yeah. Thanks, sir. That's very cool. Are you in that Trent still close, Trent Reznor? Tori? Well, I've been in Europe for a while. Uh-huh. But friends are friends, you know? You're friends forever. forever. Yep. That's what I feel. Like some of my friends I haven't talked to in years, and I could just pick up the phone now and finish where we left off years ago. Um, anyway, I understand. I want to get to something a little serious if I can for a second, Tori. You have set up a national sex abuse hotline. The number is 1-800-656-H-O-P-E. I wanted uh, you to talk about that just briefly, tell people that we should be calling that, that number, and uh, if, if anyone needs that number, maybe you could just uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll let you go. Well, this is a toll-free number, and hopefully there's somebody there on the other end of the line, mostly 24 hours. It depends the area you're in. 
but it connects you to a rape crisis center um, where somebody's there that can give you a lot of information, a lot of people that are calling need nuts and bolts information. Okay, 1-800-656-H-O-P-E. Tori Amos, thank you very much for joining us this morning, especially after a long plane ride. The, the new album, Boys for Pele, is coming out soon. The single, Carter Light Sneeze, is on the Internet, or uh, you can listen to it on WBCN. We are told that our record company person will be bringing that song to us, like, in seconds here. Or tune, in to, or tune into Formula One, because it, maybe that's where I'm going. But <laughs> in that McLaren, you understand? Ah, 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 ah. Boston on tour next year, please stop by for breakfast. Tori Amos, right here. Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye.